uh, let me just uh, cover what is important in this control phase and then um, wrap up the lecture. Um, in control phase, we normally have to think about statistical process control chart because we have to understand what is happening with the process. So to control it, you have to understand the status of the process. And for that, uh, we can use statistical process control chart. And uh, total productive maintenance is all the equipment and system that are you are employing to do any business or production or service system. You have to make it ready. Uh, there's, there's a zero um, problem with that. And to make it happen, you know, the entire company and, and every employees have to be aware of the importance of equipment and uh, uh, the system itself and maintain them together so that uh, uh, no problem will occur during the service. So that's total maintenance, prompt, uh, uh, maintenance and uh, control plans. So uh, what are related to each other uh, that we have to understand so that uh, when one thing is uh, not doing very well, then you may not just check on that thing, but also uh, the outcome of that or surrounding issues together. That's a control plan. And the post-mortem analysis is when you are uh, done with uh, implementation of uh, initiative, then you want to also check whether it is uh, done well or is not done well. Why did that happen? So every you know criminal case or every surgery and somebody died, then you have to do post-mortem analysis. Uh, doing so, you have to understand the cause of the problem correctly and document it so that later doctors or um, the you know, uh, police uh, or investigators will be able to take that into consideration, right? So that's post-mortem analysis. And training, you have to, training is all the time, you have to train your employees to have the mindset of improvement and innovation, to take the ownership rather than just to make money in your company, right? So, uh, and you have to develop the, the employees so that they may, may be able to reach their full potential by working in your company or working with your colleagues or uh, doing the job in the uh, project. I think such a company is a good company to work for. And you always appreciate, uh, even if you quit the job there um, and you have a good you know, memory and uh, words of mouth toward the company. So training is again, very important part of uh, control and documentation. Now, you know, if you are done with that, for example, we talked about uh, today, uh, what is it, the Challenger in 1986, you know, after 73 seconds, uh, it just uh, exploded and uh, there was uh, such a, a difficult experience for NASA and the country. And, you know, a similar occasion happened with Columbia in 2003. And we have to document everything so that uh, we may remember why that happened, right? So that foam thing uh, was uh, uh, was the cause of the the breaking apart of Columbia in 2003, and they, you know, um, documented it and improved on that. And whenever you are done with that, and now you are you moved on to Falcon 9 and this uh, uh, rocket booster system, and you have to document everything. Uh, so that uh, you can go back and check it uh, and know how to improve or how you have in improving that's available there. So uh, let me briefly go through um, statistical process control chart and then um, and control plans and uh, documentation. And then I'm going to uh, conclude this lecture. So statistical process control chart, if you have taken operations management, you have learned that this is a tool to visualize the process. You know, right now, you don't know how much time you have to wait uh, to process one product or serve a patient. Uh, that is unclear. 
and you don't know how efficient this person is or what kind of quality does the person has. It's uh, invisible, right? It's not easy for us to tell unless, you know, patient comes and then, oh, wow, this person was so bad or um, a product, there's a defective product. Then you can tell that there was some problem with this process. Uh, so we, it is essential for us to visualize the process so that we can control the quality of the process. Um, in that uh, sense, statistical process control chart is a very good tool for us to see the uh, process and, and manage it ourselves. Um, so it was uh, developed to, to separate between inherent cause of the problem and assignable cause of the problem. Inherent things are happening all the time because of the temperature or because of, um, of the fatigue that happens to the employees or because of the mood of the company. You know, inherently there are room for errors all the time and uh, that is called inherent uh, errors or inherent causes. However, there are assignable causes. For example, you know, one employees were uh, so confident that he overlooked a procedure to go through and skip to the next one right away. Then there is a assignable cause. Or we notice that you know, during the uh, handoff time from day shift to night shift, uh, there is some gap and the handoff was not happening in a proper way, uh, then you know the, there is a lapse between those uh, shifts and, and the quality suffers for that, and that can be a signable cause, and we can address that. However, if we don't measure and uh, visualize it, we don't see whether this is inherent cause or a signable cause. We cannot tell. So by using statistical process control chart, we can now uh, you know spot what is assignable cause. And if there is such thing, then you know you have to investigate and fix it right away if possible. However, this is a costly investment because you know uh, measuring the data and uh, and writing it is not easy. And people don't like to be measured when evaluated by other people. And your performance is just uh, just revealed and people can tell whether you have a good performance or not. So uh, it can be costly and uh, you can face some resistance with that. Uh, however, if you are committed to uh, you know, controlling the implementation that you have uh, suggested and recommended and you are also um, employing it right now, then you do need to you know, invest money and resources to measure the data and then visualize it. Uh, that is a, a critical investment. So here's a statistical process control chart. And uh, here is the, the center is center line, the mean of the process. And we have three um, uh, zones, right? So zone A, zone B, and zone C. And this is first sigma uh, uh, area or area zone or first sigma zone, second sigma zone, and three sigma zones. and uh, obviously, if you have everything oscillating in first sigma zone, I think that's the best thing that you want to see. However, if it goes out of first sigma zone and to a sec second and third sigma zone, especially there are many uh, uh, points on the third sigma zone, then that's not a good sign. Of course, if it goes out of the third sigma zone, then that is a sign that your process um, suffered uh, something, something assignable, and you have to, you know, see what, see and investigate what is happening with that process. And look at this aesthetical process control chart. If you are controlling everything and measuring everything, then from zero, uh, uh, day zero to 30, you are seeing everything and see on day 15, something happened and what is it? You can go back and see. and. Uh, most processes were good. However, probably day 12, you know, zone two, and then day 14, zone 14, uh, zone C uh, happened. And uh, why is that the case? And you can see it more accurately. So if you don't measure and visualize, you, you don't know what is happening at all. 
But if you do that, it can be a very good tool for you to understand the process. Um, oh, wow, it's 10.45 already. So, so that's how you are controlling your process. And uh, uh, due to time limit, I cannot cover everything. But if we remember one thing from this control phase is that we need to visualize the process and uh, see what is happening with control chart. And uh, there are uh, you know, ways to read the control chart and how to also to calculate process capability. You know, is it a good process or bad process? How good is it that can be um, uh, visualized and understood by calculating process capability. And, uh, you know, uh, if you are interested, you can uh, calculate these things and present that to your management so you know how to control your, project, pro your uh, process. Uh, 